Welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just look like somebody's I'm like stuck. It's like hit you in the balls and you <laughs> froze. We're still cops. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm Man, sorry. You gotta get that checked out. Seriously though, I did have to sneeze. But I you just, really put it just that went away. Just, it just it went away, and I decided, you know what? I'm already here. You better go to the doctor. I better man. go to the doctor. Let Flu's them know that we're still cops. Everybody's Guys, what is up? Question of the day for the 19th time. How are you? How are you? How are you guys? How's it going? We're concerned. Just check it in. Say it hello. Yeah, we just want to make sure everybody's still humming along. Yeah, just check it in with you. Doing shit right. Yeah, dudes. Just say it. What's up? All right. That question of the day never gets old, by the way. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely not. All right, so we are on the trail to this third bookie. We're trying to catch this woman who's just withdrawing all this money. Oh, God! Guys, 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 guys. Whoa! Guys, it's all good. Can you imagine if Ellie Noir had, like, a ticket I department? I am a professional. Where okay? you just had to pull, pull people over and just be like, hey. Dude, they would call me a hypocrite. Tell me this is just the cab. Tell me just, like, this is just the cab. Tell me just, like, this is just that. that this is, the is cab. just that cab. Oh, more tailing. She must be inside. Oh, maybe we'll just go inside. Oh my god, she's there. <laughs> god damn it. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. I'm not gonna lose the cab. I actually I'm probably gonna lose the cab. I call him a flash if you were tailing too closely, slipping too far behind, or attracting attention. That definitely attracted some attention. This is shit. Better drop back, Cole. Really? No, you're good now. Go, go, go. This is like my nightmare right now. No, nah, dude. Alex, what are you talking about? This whole time, you all you wanted to do is drive carefully. This is what you were born for. But it's not about driving carefully. It's about, like, tailing someone. Guys, Beer Bros Homework, take a picture of uh, the Fast and the Furious franchise, one of their posters, and Photoshop Alex as Vin Diesel. Yeah, I want to be dumb. I don't want to be fucking Paul Walker. Whoa! Have some respect, For dude. what? He's no longer with us. Doesn't matter. He still plays a shitty character in the Fast and the Furious. That's true. But still, man. Okay. Fine, I'll be Paul Walker. He's good looking. Yeah, there you go. You can take that guy. You can take He's, that bullet. Yeah. Made famous for his role in She's All That. I love that movie. Right about now. My question is, why, why, show, why not brother, just, why not just flat now. out chase him? That's my question. On show, brother, right about now. I know she's in that car. if we chase them, he will not go to the location we want them to go to. I guess that's we true. We want to know where they're going. And if we scare them, they will not go where they want to go. You know what, Roy? S N O O P about to anything. the double O G. Roy, you don't know anything about anything, Roy. Um, I have one suggestion, Alex. Yeah. To not turn on the siren. I'm not gonna turn the siren the on. One time. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's Whoa! What, I'm what? Who's in the car with me? Oh, <laughs> that's right, a policeman. A policeman just said that about a suspect. Yep. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Okay, all right. Is this the opening sequence to Catch Me If You Can? Maybe. I don't know. You know, I'm glad the freeways aren't built yet, because, man, if there were freeways, I'd be angry right now. They're kind of our highways. Oh. She stopped? She just said a light. They're at a light. Is that the Men in Black theme song? Yeah. Oh. Okay. She's heading inside. You did it. Thank God. Dude, you did it. Alright, so she's hopping on the bus to Akron. Dude, right? you are the best. I know. Perfect, even. Uh, I don't know about that anymore. Perfect. Hashtag almost perfect. Hashtag my dick is perfect. Hashtag almost perfect. Make sure you don't let her see you? Where the fuck is she? Right there. Go, 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 go. What are we trying to do? Oh my... I don't know what to do. There's nowhere to go. God, I... 
Like, they don't explain anything to you. Oh, I know where to go. It was right in front of us. Where? I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay. Snicks to the man right there. Sure I that's what I tried to do. True it again. Oh, there's a newspaper in the seat, so that's Yeah. I'm supposed to just know that when there's a newspaper <sighs> this is whatever. And then I'm just gonna watch where her. Where you going? Where are you going? I'm just gonna watch her. Where are you going? Where are you going? Run. Where are you going? Where are you going? The early bird gets the worm. Lady's bathroom. Go in there. Go after her. Go. <gasps> what happened? What happened? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. <gasps> Call an ambulance. Was it Roy? Still it's Roy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I, uh, it was him. Was she was saying cop. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. What the Trump fuck? Our limey friend, using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Dude, I swear to God, if Roy murdered her, I'm gonna kill him. Yo. We gotta find this. Is the this a crime scene? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Check the stall. Oh, check right there. <laughs> Revolver. Can we zoom in? Six. So it was hers. One shot fired. Oh. One shot. All right. Okay. Check her belongings. Yeah. Set up. Cute. Theater. I've seen movies at the Egyptian before. Huh. <sighs> So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. The movie theater? He's got a point. I think he did it. Dude, I just he don't. He so did it. I just don't know. Why is the car conveniently parked out here? I don't know. I mean, aside from, from us parking a few minutes ago, how would he have known that she was going to go to the bathroom? I know. I'm... Roy, I'm on to you and I don't like you. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. That's why, all can't I'm we, why can't Frazier be our partner? I would rather it be Frazier than almost anyone. All right, let's do this. I'm out of here. We might get there quicker if you use the siren. Oh my God! You know what, Roy? You just shot her. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. What? You did it. You horrible man, you. This is like at Frazier's work. <laughs> this seems like a long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King, message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. Knife wound? Appears to have belonged to the victim. She shot him? He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. How is he like not just totally against Roy? Dude, here's the thing. I've seen a million movies here. This is really cool. You know what? Maybe Roy didn't kill her, but he definitely told the crew where he, where uh Where am I going? She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up. Just like she set me up. Just like oh my, my god. Set me up. 
Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for me. How many does he have? You did it and made a quick buck. At least six. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. So it's he killed her. Shame, kid, but that's business. I don't think it was Roy. Turn that light off. Turn that light off. Turn the light off. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. I fucking dare you. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. <laughs> And it's the electric chair. Almost. Clear me some space here. All right, one left. Got him. Wow. Whew. Jesus. All right, what? What? Who is that? Oh shit. Where's Holy he shit. Go in there. It's no, it's it's he's up here. Pop up. Got him. Right? No. He's running. He's on the run. Can we go upstairs yet? It says he's on my level. <gasps> right there to your right. Yeah. No, up there on the right. No, there's also a guy down there, though. That's Roy. That's him. Oh, I see. Got him. Headshot. No problemo. Okay, now what? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Jesus. How many people have I killed in this game? Like 35? 40? It's a lot of kills. It's time to come out now, Hammond. There he is. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine, and I once lacked courage. He just let him go? He deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! You fixed the fucking bet! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and uh, uh, his girlfriend. Dude, what the fuck? No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. Why is Roy, like, on my team about this? Because if we reveal why we were after them and why we were involved because of the betting scandal of the reality of it, he as a cop's going to be on the fucking line. Right, like the way that he completely ignored that fucking guy in the weed case? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just think everyone's crooked but me. No, I'm with you, but like at this point, if we had brought him in, we would have brought down half the department. You're right. Give me some info. Let's get to the infos. Give me one second, I have to pull this up. Shout out to this, like, pixelated leather texture. <laughs> for getting really blurry only around the letters. See where it says case report? See how it's, like, dirty right there? Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. We got five stars, though. It's not bad. Yeah, we're, like, we're, we're still doing it, I think, you know? I want my I want my jacket. I want my... I want my new suit. That's what I want. 
All right, let's see here. The setup. Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. But let's, in. Let's go backwards. I pressed the wrong button. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Let's find out some trivia. Okay. Okay, the case, both in name and in premise, is loosely based on the 1949 film The Setup. The film's more about the events leading up to the fight with the boxer, not knowing about the fix until the near end. The movie is referenced by the way of the movie ticket in Kenny's purse, although this would appear to be an old ticket as Detour is now playing there, which is dated March 10, 1947. Finding Hammond's fake name in the ledger of the hotel room, Winston Churchill was the name of the British Prime Minister during World War II. After yeah. looking at the register, Roy Earl c- comments that even a rundown hotel at Lee can't escape the, the bulldog's shadow. The ref- this reference is to Clement Attali, British Prime Minister between 1945 and 1951. The reference is to the fact that during World War II, Attali was Deputy Prime Minister under Churchill, serving the coalition government of the time. Great. And then all the other fake names in the ledger are famous people. There's a list of them. Um, in this case, there's a special variant of Roy Earl's Cadillac with the soft top raised to avoid detection when tailing Kenny Edwards. We did notice that. Yeah. The roof is, however, again, lowered after the scene in the interstate bus station and remains so for the rest of Cole's time in administration of vice. The bar next to the Egyptian theater is called the pig and whistle, which is located, uh, which is a location of the plot driving argument between two main characters of the neo-noir crime movie Chinatown. Yeah, you should go check out Chinatown. It's a great film. And as tell you, you what, as I've, you, I've drank at the Pig and Whistle. Uh, as you arrive at the Examiner, you'll see Richard Coombs from the a Slip of the Tongue traffic case leaving the store. The character of Albert Hammond is referenced to Mark Hammond from the game Getaway. Both characters are portrayed by Don Kembry. Albert Hammond is also the name of an organist um, who shares a name with his son, who's the lead guitarist of the Strokes. If you go back to the thrifty store before finding the notepad inside, Roy will have some extra dialogue, but it has no impact on the overall ending of the case. In an alternate ending, Colmer tells Earl that he's doing venereal disease citations until he learns to stop lying after the latter refuses to comment on what has happened. Interesting. First off, Colmer's probably not going to be 100% serious. Even if he was, it would be embarrassing to Earl as a punishment. Second, if he is referring to North American definition of a citation, a summer to appear in court, then it would kind of make sense as vice actually deals with sexual crimes often. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm just waiting for Earl to stab me in the back. I am with you 130 bazillion percent. All right, let's jump in. Jumping into the next case. Our next case is. Let's see what it is. What is it? The big reveal. The Naked City. The Naked City. That's a cool name for a case. Marotta Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. <sighs> this is just Shadyville, Illinois. Yo, but Vice has a freaking little patio action going on. Check this out. And join Vice, you can come out here, smoke a cigarette in style, baby. What do you think about that? Look at that. What do you think about that, baby? Check this out. You can morph into a plant like the Hulk's dad. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. What's with that get up of yours, anyway? Are you fucking. I'm going to crush you, dude. I'm going to crush you. Like it or not. We're a dysfunctional couple now. You look like Marty McFly when he gets to the Old West. Damn, get called out. Did you get your new suit, by the way? I don't know. I can't change my outfit yet. Why not? I just, like, don't have that. Oh, there it is now. I tried to do it a second ago, and it wouldn't let me. Maybe we don't have enough uh, experience. Yeah, I don't think I got anything for any of those uh, interviews. All right. Come on, baby. Get me out of here. Let's go. We already got the address in our book. Come on, Roy! Can't even, like, turn out of the parking lot, like, Seems comfortably. Distracted. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for, so what? That's life. We did our job. You sold some Damn. of it, you fucker. Closing one case opens another. 
Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this? Yeah, cop? you're fucking yeah, in a you're morphine a racket. Cop. Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of LA forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. What if someone's little girl? What if Visit he like Morgan decides to be a good guy? John and Jane Doe's are creepy. Their percentages. The odds four and against lightning striking. That'd be great. If he like if Roy like has like a like a you know like a conscience. <laughs> oh Well, see ya. Bill the police department. I'm just gonna quickly just cut through this uh, little neighborhood here. Down this little break here. No problem. Look out, birds. Great. Okay. Right through here. No problem. Nice and easy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's how a cop gets to the crime scene. In a timely manner. Without killing anyone. You know what that means? Mm. Hashtag perfect dicks. <laughs> Let me in. All right. So it's an OD case we're looking at here. <laughs> Little nod. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. All right. Second, Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Let's do it. All right. No problemo. Hey. Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. Be my partner you again, bud. I love you. Oh, uh, you got Rusty. Hey, Rusty. Relax, Rusty. Get fucked. <laughs> Were you smoking a cigar at a crime scene for you, fat piece of shit? Cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers things. Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. You mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. I would watch a detective show set in the 40s. I can't believe that the LA Confidential show didn't like work out. That'd be Possible great. suicide? Let's check it out. Oh, oh man. You think I should look around first? We've had a look around. Probably. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. God damn it. Was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? She's got like bite marks and shit on her. What do we see here? Take a closer look at her head and neck. Are those bruises or are they bite marks? Oh, yo, ring? Very Can you... Like a black sapphire. Okay. Okay. Look at that. That looks like a bite mark. Black right? sapphire ring. You're right. I'm there with you. Bruises. Neck is bruised pretty badly. Strangled. There was a struggle. Her arms are fucked up. Yeah, she has the same, like, matching blood bruises. Yeah, look, bite marks, I told you. Look like bite marks. Very good. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. Somebody got her high and beat the shit out of her? Whoa. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Sorettes. It would make my theory. And morphine would have been very quick. And there wouldn't mm. have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Sorettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. All right, well, let's look around some more. Oh, do you hear that? Did you see that? What? Circumstance. The so, photos? Yeah. Yeah, I'll find them. Photos are like the number one clue in this game. Okay. More barbiturates? Pills. 
I'm in the many mountains. I'm in a na 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 na. But nothing compares these blue and yellow purple pills. What is that? D12. Oh, yeah. What is this? A grinder? Oh, for sex to investigate. Barbiturate. Just more pills. Sleeping pills. Rattling around in this thing. Can I, like. What? Did you say what else is rattling around? Yeah, there's like a bottom part. Benzedrine. To a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman, MD. Oh, that's a cool little thing. Okay. Alright, what else do we got? So there's. A kimono? Like, a, like a jacket? Like a oh, smoker's jacket? Oh, yeah. I don't know anyone under 45 huh. who would wear one. Why would she have that in her apartment? It's a male smoking jacket, not yeah. a female's. I didn't know that there was such thing as a female smoking jacket in 1947. Is that her? No. Alright, we gotta find some photos, hey? Well, we went into the bathroom, into her room, but there's more rooms in the house, right? Yeah. I'll check the kitchen. God... Damn it, this guy's like messing up the like flow of traffic in the hall. I don't know if I can get past him. He's a monster. <laughs> get out of here. Him. He's he's the worst. Alright. I should talk to her. Not, not, not yet. Not yeah, yet. Not until we have enough evidence. Alright, here's some pics of her. This is all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. What is that building? Can you like tilt? Oh, of course. How does he know? Dasin, I'm working Tuesday, eleven to four. Keep me company. Ask for Miss Randall. Okay. Easy enough. Out of posterity. Might as well check the third one since we're here. Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Okay. What else? Oh, there it is. Zelda chime. Okay, so I'm gonna go talk to this Let's woman. Let's go talk to this woman and figure out what her deal is. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson. I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing. <laughs> I'm so shocked! We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? The Ghostbusters. It's, I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. She looks like Alice from the Brady Bunch. Someone has to set her affairs. Yeah, story. kind of. Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, oh. Who's Mr. Henderson? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives... <laughs> Mr. Henderson? Mr. Henderson. All right, victim, victim state, state of, of mind. mind. What's up? Ms. Randall depressed about something. Upset. No more than normal. No more than normal? <laughs> Whoa! Look at, that, look at that look. Hold on one second. Can you go to the logs? Can you go to the logs? Was Miss Randall... Depressed about something. Upset. No more than normal. So, we are to infer that Miss Randall is unhappy, correct? She, like, I think what she's saying is that, like, she's not particularly depressed or upset. But my question is, if you are not stressed out or upset, why would why you need to take barbiturates? sleeping yeah. pills? Plus, prescribed by a doctor. Right, like real, real prescription. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her. I'm going to call her a I'm, liar. Look, I would believe her, except her face is so goddamn shifty. Yeah. I think she knows the depression, and I think she knows of the pills. Yeah. All right. I'm going to call her on it. Call her on it. I'm going to call her on it. You're call a liar. Her. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia was obviously disturbed about something. All right. I have no idea what you're talking about. God. Damn it, everybody always thinks that they're going to get away with it. Tell Every single us time. about this one. Uh, oh. Or this one. Well, go up. Prescribe for troubled sleep and depression. Sleeping pills, then. But, like, this is a prescription. It's not the... Oh, that's for Benzedrine. Right. Okay, I'm going to do this. Sleeping pills. Yeah. Because the sleeping pills, th that's not the same... The Benzedrine description is different, but the sleeping yeah. pills are actually... Okay, yeah, I'm going to yeah. use the sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. Literally everywhere in every room? Pillbox. The thing she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always 
through clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star. A princess. Okay. You sound like you're jealous. Really pay that well? Victims, personal life, Virginia. All right, Virginia. I don't have many friends, is it? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Hmm. Okay. Hold well, on a second. Right away. Hold on right a away. second. <laughs> Hold. Woman. 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 Question. 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 If that is the case, in if you come by a few times a week, could you please tell me why there is a men's smoking jacket in a woman's apartment who apparently has no family or no male counterpart right. in his life? Right. You know something, and that smoking jacket's the reason. Yeah, and who's Miss Henderson? You think I should call her on a lie right now? Yeah, absolutely. Look at her face. All right, all right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Me, Mrs. Reynoldson. Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. I will headbutt you in the forehead, man. Tell us you don't about stop. the jacket. Tell us about the jacket. Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. But that's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with him. Why didn't you tell me Why that Why didn't you a just tell ago? us about him? You didn't even have a problem. I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. Oh, my God. Relationship with the victim. I. Do you have a house? Do you have a house? Tell me you have a house. We're gonna take it from you. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Okay. She, you are like the worst liar that I've ever she, seen. We have nothing to throw against her. She's literally lies. Like, are you telling the truth? Are you telling the truth? Are you telling the truth, ma'am? Ma'am, are you telling the truth? Ma'am, are you telling, are you the, telling truth? the truth? Who are you looking at? No, no, you're not. All right, doubt this I'm girl. Doubt you. We have no evidence for lying. <laughs> <laughs> Just doubt her. I doubt it. She was very high strong. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. <laughs> she wanted it all. We haven't had a we haven't had a doubting victim like this. She's like in so a while. easy to read. She's so easy to read. Remember that other guy from the soup factory who was like the hardest guy? <laughs> yeah. Oh my fuck God. that guy. That guy was like four goddamn yeah, knocks. Fuck that guy. Outfits hey, you have unlocked. You're down there. Oh my god, you guys. Fuck. Should I debut this right now or should I debut it do next it now. time on Boo Bros? No, it let's now. do it right now. It's a finale. Do it right now. Finale. Fuck it. Here we go. Number seven. Ready? Fucking Hawk Show. Oh my god. We look yes. like mob men. Uh, Take extra dose of damage and stay standing. Let's do it. This is the alpha made for you. We look pimp. Look at that. I look like I'm about to go to prom. Let's go. Prom? <laughs> I look like somebody that I probably wouldn't have hung out with at prom. <laughs> Uh, all right, I guess we're are we done? I think. Oh no, we should we should leave. But remember, he said that we should look around, like in the trash or some shit for like drugs. outside the building. Yeah, outside the building. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look Stephane. around and follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? Dude, calling out like a boss. You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. Why would you ever doubt Mal? Oh yeah, it's giving us the, Z the Zelda vibe already. Why would you ever doubt Mal? Show me a dumpster. Okay. Okay, so if it's not a dumpster... Hmm... You think it's inside? Oh, it could be in like a trash can or something. Like right here? Yep. Give me that shit. Zoom in. Zoom. Dude. Zoom. I'm just going to start a team that's just me and that... That corner. Yo, if that cor that corner... Look, if this was like LA Confidential... Or if this was like LA Noir the movie... We get Phelps to be Phelps, and we get Ed Harris to be the coroner. Oh my god. And we fucking rock it. Yeah. And and they just ride around on motorcycles solving crimes. What? I got a trophy. A good looking corpse. Alright, tight. Do we think that's it? Yeah. Alright, babies and boys. Let's... I think we should call it. Let's call let's it call here. Let's call it. Next time on Beer Bros... Well, let's go to our, let's go to our list of things to... 
places to go. Okay, let me just get over to my uh, whatever. Okay, so the only the only thing that we know right now is that we need to go either to the Stoneman's practice, practice or the dress store. Doctor Stoneman's, which is cool, or the dress store. I'm thinking maybe the dress store, but we'll see. Yeah, I think so too. Next time on Beer Bros, we're gonna go to the dress store. Alex, question of the day. Question of the day. What did you wear to prom? Yeah. Show me Ed, a pic. Bros homework, take a photo. Yeah, show me a pic. All right, guys. I'll try and find a prom photo, f- photo myself. I'll find one, too. I've got one somewhere. All right, guys. All right, later, man. See ya.